of items I got today. The first one is, actually let me look at eBay here. The first one is an interesting uh, item, Calling All Girls. It's a, like a teen girls digest magazine from, where is it from? I think it's from the 60s. And it's got like, you know, just stories, comics, things to do. And there's a bunch of really cool like two color artwork in it and stuff. Let me see if I can show you there. Uh, like and a bunch of stories and interesting things like that. But I don't know. I was kind of surprised that this one went. It's got really, and even the cover artwork is really cool. So somebody bought that today. And then what else? This scribbage game. So scribbage from 1968. And this one is, let me see if I can put it down somewhere. I'll put it down right here. So scribbage game, it's basically dice and a timer and a huge box for all of it like wow. it's yeah there's a lot of wasteful packaging in this so there's uh there's that and then the instructions are on the inside of the box but it's just different types of dice and numbers with letter or numbers letters and the fancy rolling cup and that's going out today too and what else do I got? Check here. Then over on Mercari, sold, ooh, a children's book. Um, did I set that aside already? I don't think I did. It is a Mother Goose book. Here it is. So Mother Goose, this is a, another one of the lot of vintage children's illustrated books that I got. And this one has artwork inside that, to me, reminds me of like the Rankin and Bass Christmas cartoons that come out every year or that they replay every year, like the Frosty the Snowman one. So a lot of really cool artwork in that one. Let's see what else we got. And just different fairy tales. So there you go. It's another thing that was over on Mercari. Set that aside. And then a game that I got so many messages for. But the problem with it is that it was a heavy game, so shipping cost so much. It's one of those things that's making us rethink the way that we might be doing shipping in the future. But uh, on Mercari, it was supposed to ship for like $10. And people would be like, can you knock down the price of shipping. Where the heck is the game at? Did I pull that aside already? Maybe I did. So the game itself is like one pound, three ounces. So Mercari wanted to charge up to two pounds for it, which means that shipping was like $10. So we'd get, swear I got a message every day about this game. And then finally I just said, you know what? I'm gonna charge, I'm gonna do the shipping myself and charge what it would be, which is like $7. It's not much cheaper, but Oh, I did set it aside. So the game itself is this Racco game, which is a, and this version is from the 90s, I think, yeah. And it's a card game with a bunch of racks of stuff, or racks for the cards. So you have your cards and you put them in the rack, and there are three players that do it, or two players. Things. Two to four players that can do it. And that's the game. That's about the extent of what I know about it and that people really wanted it. But it was too much to ship. So finally, when I changed that price, sold it to somebody. So that's on Mercari. And then... Wow. Okay. Yeah. You just changed that. Yes. Just changed it yesterday and then it shipped. I want to say there was one more thing that was supposed to go out, but that's all I can think of for right now. I didn't see anything else in Mercari. Uh, I may have sold something on Facebook Marketplace. Actually, 
there's somebody I'm talking to right now about a purse, but I'm just talking to him about it. The, the clutch. The white one? No, the red one. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So, just posted that. Yeah, just posted that too. But they're talking to me about it. They are trying to decide whether or not they want to buy it. That's what we have going out today. I was doing some video editing and the computer that I have was being super slow because I don't have enough memory for it. It needs more memory to be able to edit videos and uh, it was just getting so slow and normally what I would do, I can't remember if I talked about this already, but I did? Yep. Okay, well, got this HP, uh, I don't even know what the name of this one is, but got this computer here. Um, it was an impulse buy and I hated the fact that it had to be an impulse buy and for rightfully so because it did not have the specs that I needed. It was slower possibly than the computer I was already using. I think it may even have had less memory, but uh, that's what I get for that. So we're going to try and return that, go off into, well, we are going to return it. Yeah, and then I am going to possibly look at buying a, another computer which is probably going to be a couple hundred dollars more than this one was.